So you've went through our guide, you've made a Hytale server, and now your server's live. You can see here it's booted, it's authenticated. We're good to go. Except you want your friends to join, right? You can go into Hytale and you can join using the IP address localhost, connect right on into the server, things are working. But you want your friends to play with you, that's why you made a server. Well this video is going to show you exactly how to do that and how to allow your friends to join your server in Hytale using port forwarding. So let's go ahead and do it. To do this, what we're going to want to do is first off, open up the command prompt. I'm going to minimize our server. You don't have to stop it, by the way. This will work while your server is live. You don't have to restart your server at all. But go ahead, open up a command prompt, type CMD, right like so, and open it up, right? So opening, Windows, start menu, CMD, command prompt, open that up. Then in command prompt, type IP, C-O-N, F-I-G, exactly like that. Hit enter, and that's going to give us a bunch of information. What we're looking for is this right here. On our Ethernet or Wi-Fi adapter, the IPv4 address and default gateway. I'm going to go ahead and make note of these in Notepad. So we go ahead and open up Notepad. We want our IPv4, which is 192.168.1.3, and we want our default gateway, which is 192.168.1.1. Once you've got those, you can go ahead and close that of the command prompt and copy and paste this default gateway. Specifically, copy it right now. Let's go ahead and do that. And then paste it in your browser up the top where you would normally type in the breakdown.xyz, simplegamehosting.com, which actually reminds me, you don't have to port forward at all if you're hosting a Hytale server at simplegamehosting.com. You can check it out at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. And not only is it super easy to get your Hytale server up and running, you also can easily add mods and customize your server any way that you want. And authentication, it is automatic and refreshes automatically each time you restart your server so you don't have to worry about that either. There's even expert live chat support there. So let's say you add mods to your server and it breaks or something goes wrong. You're having a weird issue. Support is there to help you out and get everyone online. So check out Simple Game Hosting again. First link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now, with that being said, we can go ahead and hit enter here and it will open up a login box. We just paste it in our default gateway, hit enter, we get a login box. What do we enter in here? Our router's username and password. This is linked down below and it goes over all the different methods, one, two, three, four, and five, to find your router's username and password. Usually you're finding it on method two, if not three. Very rarely, you might have to contact your internet service provider. So let's go ahead, enter in our information here, and log in to our router. Once we're in our router, what we're gonna be looking for is port forwarding. Now my router probably looks different from yours and that's okay because I'm gonna be giving you the common and terms and things like that for port forwarding and where to kind of look in your router. Now, most likely port forwarding is going to be in one of like three or four places. It's going to be in an advanced tab, an administration tab, a security tab, or a firewall tab. It could also be in an apps and gaming tab or a NAT forwarding, NAT forwarding, or NAT gaming, NAT gaming tab. It could also be nested. What do I mean by that? For me, it is in advanced, then it is in advanced again. And then it is in port forwarding slash port triggering. That's what I mean. It could be nested under multiple different layers of advanced administration or advanced security or security firewall or firewall port forwarding. Could be a few different places it could be there. But then once you land in port forwarding, you will be able to port forward for a Hytale server. To do that, you want to go ahead and just add a port forward. For me, it's add custom service. For you, it could be a new button. It could be a plus button. Or it could just be a big list of empty boxes. In that case, just go with the first one. Once you've added your port forward or started to add your port forward, I should say, we're going to have a name or ID. For me, it's service name. And you can name this anything. I'm going to name it Hytale port because this is the Hytale port. You just want to identify what this is for, right? For us, it's for a Hytale port. So that's why we're naming it that. For the protocol, right? This is going to be UDP, just UDP, nothing else, just select UDP in this. If you select both or TCP slash UDP, it can actually cause issues with Hytale server. So we want to make sure that just UDP is selected here. For the port, the default Hytale port is 5520, right like so. And for anything involving the word port, first port, second port, inside port, outside port, external port, internal port, 5520. That's what you're going to enter. And so anytime you see that word port, external port, hey, 5520, internal ports. Guess what? Same exact thing, 5520. Now for the internal IP address, that's going to be the IPv4 address we found earlier. So 192.168.1.3. Now, you may not have a place to enter an IP address. Instead, you may have a big device drop down. 
I've actually got that too, except it's a list here. And I could select this device, this 0.3 device here. That's my computer. So I could go ahead and click on that. It's the same thing as entering in the IP address up here. Use whichever option you have to select a device or enter the IP. Now we can go ahead and click apply and this will save and your port is now saved. Now what we want to do is get our public IP because that's the IP that our friends are actually going to use to join this server. Of course, in the description, we've got a link to where you can see your public IP right here displayed back to you. Now, you can only see for me 185 and that's because you don't want to give this out to anybody and everybody. Only the people you absolutely trust and would invite over to your house, you want to give your IP address out to. That's because anyone who gets this can DDoS you, which basically means hit your internet offline as well as figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. So it's important that you trust whoever you're giving this IP address to. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to worry about security on your server, any of that stuff. That's where Simple Game Hosting comes in. You can just click get started here. It'll take you to Simple Game Hosting and you'll be good to go. You'll be starting your server there without having to worry about any of that on Hightail. Now, once you've copied your IP address, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and then Hightail is live. We've already got our server online. All we've got to do now is just go ahead and join this server. All we'll do is go ahead and add a server in the bottom right. We can go ahead and paste that server address in here. Again, all you can see is 185 for me. This is your public IP. For the name, we're gonna go ahead and enter in public IP. This is what your friends will use to join your server as well. And then we can go ahead and double click on public IP and it will join in. We'll see that happen in the background here and we're good to go, right? We are now joined, we are set. However, what if you've done this and your friends can't join? Well, it might be because of a firewall setting. Windows Defender Firewall is the first place you're going to want to look. Windows Defender Firewall, you can come in here and you can allow an app through. And what you're going to be looking for in here is Hightail, Hightail Server, all of this stuff. You want to make sure Hightail is all enabled here, as well as Java is all enabled here. That's the first place you want to look. The second place is going to be on your router. Make sure there's not a firewall there that could be blocking port forwarding. Usually when you do a port forward, the firewall on your router works automatically with that. And the last thing it could be, unfortunately, is something called carrier grade NAT. Now, that sounds pretty complicated, but what you need to know about it is if you have this carrier grade NAT setup, it basically means that you can't port forward because you don't have a dedicated IP address. That means you and your neighbor, maybe a few of your neighbors, maybe your entire neighborhood could be sharing the same IP. That means that your ISP doesn't have to get as many IPs and IPs are becoming more expensive. So that makes sense. But that also means that you can't start a server like this and have your friends join. So you can contact your IP ISP about getting a dedicated IP address. However, a lot of times it can cost as much as getting a dedicated server from a hosting provider like Simple Game Hosting. So make sure you weigh your options there before you do that. But with that, you now have Hytale port forwarded and your friends should be able to join using that public IP. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. Enjoy playing Hytale with your friends and we'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.